Hi, welcome to Thill Green. My name is Mrs Hayes and I'm the pastoral mentor for Year 7 and 8 and I have the exciting job of helping Year 6 with their transition. I know we're doing it slightly differently this year, um, so I hope you've managed to have a look at our transition page. Lots of things on there for you to have a read or to watch. Um, there's a virtual tour, which is excellent, and there's some quizzes and challenges attached to that as well. So um, have a look. You'll really, really enjoy it, I hope. And uh, it should be answering some of the questions that you might have right now. Uh, to give you an idea of what I do, I am there to support your tutors and your teachers with making sure that you have the best experience that you can at Phil. I know it's going to be amazing, um, but sometimes we all need a little bit of help. I know I do. Uh, and that's what I'm there to do. So you might see me come into your classes or you might see me on canteen duty do love a natter um, or just out on general duty or you might come along to the pastoral hub where I work with Miss Stamp so lots of opportunities for us to catch up say hi and just check that everything's okay coming back to transition as I say I know we're doing it a bit differently this year I would normally have come into your schools to meet with you all um, it's a highlight that I look forward to you always have so many many questions and um, and it will be a shame not to see you this year but like I say we we are trying to answer as many things that we think you might want to know as we can on our transition page but if you think of anything we've missed you're probably not alone in the only ones in thinking about it so do let us know um, maybe just send us a little email and say what about this and I'm sure we'll do our best to answer that for you um, and then when you come into school, if we've not had a chance to meet properly before then and do some of the transition stuff we might have done, we will make sure that we will support you as much as possible. We'll, um, we have a team building day where we can get to know each other a lot uh, a lot more find out all our likes and dislikes what we've got in common and you know just making new friends and just enjoying the experience together we um we also like to put together a program when you first join to make things a bit easy until you found your feet a little so there will be things like we will help you go to and from all your classes for the first few days um, we'll pick you up and take you along and then bring you back and let your next teacher pick you up it just gives you a chance to get to know the school without worrying about where you're going or getting lost and you know should that happen um, there are members of staff everywhere like I said there's myself there's people on reception there's teachers who might be not teaching at that time there'll be lots of people around who can help you do not worry at all you'll get to go to lunch a little bit earlier and home time will be just a little smidge earlier um, and we'll help you with that we'll help you find buses if that's what you're doing or if you've you know you've um, ridden your bicycle in or you're walking we'll help you find the right areas for all those things so lots and lots of exciting times coming up um, I'm so excited and can't wait to see you all I, I absolutely um, adore coming out and seeing you all so this is this is a new way but it's going to be just as much fun I'm sure and can't wait like I say anything you think of that we've not give us a shout and then um, hopefully we will see each other soon have a great summer and then um be in touch very soon. Bye-bye. Hello, my name is Miss Stamp and I am the Key Stage 4 Pastoral Mentor at Thiel Green. I will become your Pastoral Mentor when you reach Year 9. Mrs Hayes and I share the Pastoral Hub, so you may well see me when you come in to see Mrs Hayes. We are also known to like to have a wander around during social times when the weather is nice so please come along and say hello to us we are there to help you manage your well-being whether it's advising you on how to have great friendships or whether you need some coping strategies when things become tough we would like to help your time at Thill Green to be successful and enjoyable I look forward to seeing you soon take care Hello Year 6, uh, my name is Mrs Farragher and I am the sixth form pastoral mentor which means that I work with Year 12 and Year 13 in the sixth form centre. 
Where is the sixth form centre? Well, that's upstairs in school. That's along the corridor for maths or up the stairs from humanities. Um, you'll see me walking around the school and I'm often in the canteen at lunchtime. So please do come up and say hi. Um, I look forward very much to meeting you all in September. Have a lovely summer. Keep safe. So one of the questions we've had raised quite a lot recently is what does a typical day at Thill Green School look like? How many lessons will I have? How long is each lesson? How many times will I have a certain subject? How is it different from primary school? And there has been lots of questions about how long lunchtime is as well. So students arrive on school sites at different times due to some living in Thill Village itself, but obviously there are some students have to come a slightly longer distance via public transport or by car. So our canteen is open from 8 a.m. for any student that does arrive early and it serves breakfast, but also is a great place to sit and meet your friends even if you're not purchasing food. So registration starts at 8.35 with your form tutor. Now you'll know that you have to move around the school site because bells will ring and lots of them there is a warning bell to make sure you get to lessons promptly and on time. But tutors will obviously introduce you to that so that you understand how that all works in the first week that you are with us. Okay, your form tutor, they are the most important person during your Thill Green journey. Okay, you're going to build the greatest relationship with them because you're going to see them every single day and they'll become the main point of contact for your parents too. So any questions that they have or you have, you can quickly direct them to your tutor and they will be able to answer it. They're going to be a fountain of all knowledge about Thill Green for you, but also will be responsible for breaking the ice between the tutor group in the first few days as well. So obviously your parents can contact them if they have any questions, but we also like it if they can contact the, your form tutor with as much celebration and as much about what you're doing outside of school as possible, because we love to celebrate that as well. And we include it in our newsletter and it's really good to know the things that you enjoy as well as what, how you're achieving in school. So tutor will always have a structured activity after the register. Okay, it's very different each day. So sometimes you'll have a house quiz that's been created by our house team on lots of different topics in order to earn your house team more house points. But then sometimes there'll be activities on current news or it may be that your tutor plans something special because they think you're going to like it or it's their own special skill as well. So every single tutor time they will be slightly different and there'll be opportunities for silent reading and for one-to-one -one conversations with your tutor as well if you have any questions about anything in the first few days. You'll notice that every single student gets their own individual timetable and there is a week A and a week B. So we operate a two-week timetable at Phil Green. And you'll have five lessons, which are each an hour long. And you'll move between classes and your timetable will explain where you need to go, what lessons you have, who the teacher is. But we'll spend more time looking at how the timetable works when you join us in September and you actually get your own one in your hand. Now, we are on a two week timetable because obviously we have a very broad curriculum and you will notice that there are lots of brilliant lessons that you'll have the opportunity to go to. So there are some lessons that you'll know quite well, something like English and maths, but then there are those that you may not have spent that much time doing before, something like drama, music, dance, food tech, textiles. And that's the really brilliant thing about having this two week timetable, but also about the curriculum at Phil Green. Now you'll have two breaks during the day you'll have your first break after period two and that's for 20 minutes and that's your shorter break now during this break some students do go to the canteen and grab food some have the opportunity just to grab some fresh air there's table tennis equipment and the year eights are very good at running table tennis tournaments and year seven have really enjoyed that this year and then you have a slightly longer lunch break after period four which is for 40 minutes and during that 40 minutes there are clubs there are activities there is the house hub which is run by the heads of house and there's lots of games and activities and obviously more opportunity to be awarded house points towards your total but also towards your house's total and there is the courts and lots of year seven this year have enjoyed going to the courts there are lots of staff there the leadership team love the opportunity to go up to the courts especially on a sunny day and there is the opportunity for you to borrow a football so you can play a large tournament against the rest of year seven
Hi guys, one of the things that students sometimes worry about is when they're coming up to secondary and they're the only person coming from their primary or they're coming up with just one or two people that they're not normally friends with, um, it's not their friendship group and they worry about how they're going to settle in and what it's going to be like at Phil. So I just wanted to go through a couple of things that we do that will hopefully reassure you and let you know that it is going to be fine, you are going to make friends and settle in, no problem. Um, we had quite a few students last year who were in that position and um, they've all settled in and made new friends and seem really really quite content so hopefully that will reassure you a little bit. Last year we were able to run um, a couple of transition events for students who were in that position um, and obviously this year it's, um, it's all looking a bit different so we're thinking about ways that we can um, help instead with that with that situation um, but one of the things that we will do is um, when you get to feel if we've not been able to to get together before then is we will do plenty of things in tutor group your tutors will run um, icebreakers and they'll do team building activities and you'll get to know lots of other people who share similar interests to yourselves whether it's football it's rugby it's playing chess it's doing music videos um, whether you young people are in to these days and you know you will just naturally make friends and if you're still struggling with that or you're feeling quite shy and a bit nervous um, your tutors will help um, pastoral you myself miss stamp miss farragher we're all there to help you get that get that right so please don't worry um, we are looking at what we can do if we have to keep it virtual this year. So keep an eye on the page. We will be running certain events, I'm sure, to help help us to get to know you and make sure that we can put you into groups that you're with people that you feel are, um, you know, same as yourselves and you can have a chat and, and get to know people. So again, don't worry. I hope that reassures you a little bit. If, um, if there's anything that you're worried about, as I've said before, please do contact us, let us know, send us a little email and we'll be in touch and see what we can do to support you. Really looking forward to it. Um, don't worry, it's going to be amazing. Take care. Bye-bye. There's been quite a few questions about bags, books and lockers. So do I carry my bag around? Do I carry all my books around the school all day? How many books should I have in my bag at any one time? Are lockers available? And if so, how do I get one? So yes, all of our students will carry their bag from classroom to classroom. And yes, sometimes that there are the books for the lesson inside your bag. Now at any one point, there shouldn't be any more than five books in your bag because you only need to carry what books you have that day, plus your pencil case and obviously your lunch and your water bottle and everything else. Now some students decide to have lockers and for year seven these are in the Brooks Centre and Miss Strange will tell you a little bit more about that in a moment because she organises all of that with year seven alongside your parents. Now in terms of your bag I would suggest it's something quite robust, maybe a backpack because it's quite easy to get on and off but also has lots of room to store everything in and is obviously quite comfortable as you walk around the school site and isn't pulling on one shoulder but actually protects your back. Hi, I'm Nikki Strange and I work upstairs in the finance office. I am a finance assistant. You might need to come and see me if you want to purchase a school locker. So in the first couple of weeks when you start school, I will send a letter to your parents and carers inviting you to hire a locker. Your locker will be in the Brooks Centre with all the other year sevens, year eight and year nine. And if you have any issues with your key, have you lost it? Um, you've misplaced it, you've left it at home, you need a new one, you'll come and see me. Have lots of fun. <laughs>